This story that I will tell you about today took place in 2014. It wasn't really covered by media that much, but I still think it's quite interesting and deserves to be talked about. Carolina Morigi was scuba diving in Egypt when she suddenly felt uh, a little bit weak. Uh, when she was taken out of the water, she passed out and eventually died. Was it an accident or is it someone's fault? We'll talk about this today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Perron. I hope that you're all doing great. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Carolina, like I just said before, and we'll talk about some of the theories surrounding her death. If you guys like true crime content, make sure to check out the playlist, give this video a like and a subscribe. It helps out a lot. Without further ado, let's get into it. The 35-year-old Carolina flew from Poland to Egypt in 2014. She traveled to a city called Dahab, however, she didn't go there for vacation. She actually went there to do her scuba diving. Carolina went there as she had a sports goal in mind. She enjoyed deep scuba diving and she was actually pretty good at it. At that time, Carolina was one of the five females that actually achieved a master class in technical diving. From a young age, she was really into sports. Um, her first sport that she really picked up was figure skating. She was, again, really good at that sport. However, she had to stop due to an injury. Later on, she started to develop more likings for more extreme sports. She was really into mountaineering, skiing, uh, bike racing, and she really enjoyed the adrenaline that she got from bikes. However, nothing was as exciting to her as this deep scuba diving. She wanted to achieve great things in the sport. Uh, she wanted to beat the Polish record and maybe the world record. If you guys don't know, deep diving is a sport where basically you just want to dive the deepest. And at that time, the female's Polish record was held by uh, Elżbieta Benduzka, which she received on the 24th of November 2012, and she went down to 191 meters deep into the sea. The world record, however, was from 2004, and it was 221 meters. And Karolina went to Egypt to basically achieve these depths, at least the Polish one she was hoping to get. Uh, the Polish female's record in deep diving. Deep diving is extremely dangerous due to the pressure changes that happen in your body uh, when you go deeper into the water and one mistake can basically cost you your life. You need years of difficult and complicated training sessions. However, Carolina knew that and she wasn't new to that sport. On the website that tracked her dives, you can see that each year she would beat her own record. This time she was going for 180 meters deep. Her previous record was 150 meters. So you can see that she still had a lot of meters to get to that 180 meters record. The Hab is a city that is close to a basically perfect spot for deep diving. The, the sport is called Blue Hole and Carolina would go there each time whenever she was deep diving. She got there on the 5th of January 2014 and she stayed at a local deep diving club uh, which provides instructors and people that will support you when you're uh, going for deep dives. That day, Carolina achieved 140 meters uh, of depth. However, she came back the next day and she reached 150 mark, which that already put her in the top five females um, in the world, basically, for deep diving. She knew that, however, she still wanted to push herself and basically become the best. On the 16th of January, Carolina actually went down to the 180 meters mark and she reached it. However, an accident happened underwater, causing that dive to be her last dive. When Carolina started to resurface, when she was around the 150 meter mark, uh, she gave the sign that she's not feeling well. And when she was taken out of the water, she had trouble breathing. She then lost consciousness and eventually passed away. At these kind of depths, you need a long time to resurface so that nothing goes wrong with the pressures uh, on your body and you gotta let your body basically slowly adjust to the pressure change. Uh, for example, Elzbieta's uh, resurface time was four and a half hours. So you can see that takes uh, a very long time to resurface again. To this day, it's still unknown how long it took for Carolina to resurface. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why, uh, as there was so many people around her. But there's also talks that one of the supporters that was uh, deep diving with her uh, in order to help himself to resurface uh, Carolina, he inflated her vest with uh, too much air, causing her body to go up uh, too quick. From some of the testimonies that I've seen, uh, people said that, that it took Carolina 16 minutes to resurface, which at those depths is uh, way too quick. Basically, it will cause all of your organs to start to break apart because of the pressure change. And experts said that no one could survive 
these kind of pressure changes uh, that quick. If there was an autopsy done on Carolina, we would have known if her body was taken out of the water too quick. Uh, however, the autopsy wasn't done either in Egypt or Poland, and it left the family basically without knowing to what really happened to Carolina. If it was something that happened to her underwater or was it a mistake on the supporters side. A few weeks after this tragedy, um, Ejbieta, the other female diver, went to the exact same spot that Carolina went to and she concluded that Carolina's death was due to multiple mistakes that were done by the people that were around her on that day. There was also mistakes done on the Polish and the Egyptian side when it comes to the autopsy. In order to have the autopsy done, the family needs to basically confirm that they want the autopsy done and they need to notify the Polish consulate in Egypt. However, the family didn't know that they had to do that. They were not notified by Egypt or Poland basically saying that they need to have this done in order to have an autopsy done on Carolina. There was also other factors that they didn't adopt um, when the family looked into what was happening on that day. However, it's pretty much impossible to find a person responsible uh, for what happened to her. Uh, and even if there is a person responsible to what happened to her. When the family went, when the family went to the Polish Ministry of Foreign Affairs for some questions and answers, the Polish Ministry basically blamed it on uh, the Egypt's authorities saying that they can't do anything and they need the Egypt's authorities to do something, while the Egypt authorities blamed the hospital that they can't do anything without the And the people at the hospital were saying that they can't do anything unless they get the papers from the Polish uh, embassy. You can see that was just a circle of people being not responsible for what happened and no one wanted to help the family to find out what actually happened. Now, now again, no one really thinks that Carolina was murdered or uh, there was something shady ongoing there. Um, However, if there was someone responsible for what happened to her, that person should face the court if they're responsible for Carolina's death. Deep diving is an extremely dangerous sport and should be treated as one. There have been people dying to this sport and Carolina Morigi is one of them. And even though this case is settled, there are still people speculating of what could have happened to Carolina when she was at that 150 meters depth. So guys, let me know what you think of what happened to Carolina. Make sure to write the comments down in the comments section, do you think there was an accident or was one of the supporters uh, responsible of what happened to Carolina? So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a like and a subscribe. Uh, you can always check out the playlist here or the videos just here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.